Hey guys, my name is Jim and today I want to give you a quick tech tour. So the other day I was reading Reddit and I saw a post asking about cheap PC upgrades. And kind of as a joke, I said, why don't you hook up a relay board to it to do some home automation? Well, there were some sincere questions that followed and so I decided to do a very fast video. Not an in-depth how-to, but something showing you what I've done to maybe get you interested in trying it out yourself. So, I have a home server upstairs. 90% uh, of the time, I just use it for storage. That's about it. But I did notice that there is a parallel port on there that isn't being used. And to be honest, I don't really know why those are populated anymore because no one really seems to use them. However, I did find some open source software for Linux to be able to address each one of those pins individually. So, I cooked that up with a very simple web page so that I can use my cell phone to turn on the lights, the fan, and even my computer, which doesn't really require the relay board at all, it's just a magic packet. But we'll get into the details in just a minute. For right now, let's go check out a diagram to show you exactly what I've done in very simple terms. This is the motherboard that my server uses. The parallel port highlighted here hooks up to the relay board via these pins, and then the relays hook up to the controller itself. Now, I'm only showing signal lines here. There's actually ground, there's voltage, there's other things that go into this. But this is a simplified schematic of what I'm about to show you. Okay guys, here we are in the server room. Don't mind the clothing here, it looks like a closet, but it's totally not. It's a server room, it's high tech. And that is the server. So, let's crack it open and take a look at what's inside. Time for some B-grade B-will folks. Here at the bottom is the power supply, of course. This is the relay board that I've been talking about, and of course the motherboard right above it. And then just above that is the hard drive, and on the left is the actual insides of a remote control for the fan and lights. So, for example, if I go to my server's webpage, I can turn on the fan to a low setting, and when I do so, you'll see that light come on. That LED indicates the relay is active, and when it is active, it closes the circuit to this controller here, which sends a wireless signal down to the installed fan and turns on the fan. So here's the final sales pitch. I'm gonna demonstrate using my laptop because my phone is recording right now, how I can turn on my projector, my DVD player, and my AV receiver all one click just by using a simple web page. I can even turn on my PC as well, so maybe you'll see the blinking lights in the background in a second here. So let's give it a shot. First, I'm gonna click all on. I don't know if you can hear it or not. The ABC receiver came on. Blu-ray is booting up. And my projector just beeped. So, that's good signs. Now, I'm going to turn on the PC as well. I have to go to my individual sources to boot PC. And that orange light means we're in action. And I want to select my source which of course is my Blu-ray player right now, and that should be fully started. The screen takes a little while to boot up as well, but that's why these things go on all at the same time so that I don't have to wait. But once it's ready to go, I can turn off the lights and enjoy whatever movie, TV show I want. And if I need to uh, switch over to my computer that's already booted, hopefully, <laughs> I click the uh, AV receiver corresponding to that, and I've got my media PC. That about wraps it up, guys. So I'll try to put some links down below to help you get started on your own if you want to pursue something like this. And of course, if you have any questions, comments, whatever, I'd love to hear from you. So let me know, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. I know this video wasn't heavy on technical details, but if you have specific questions, I'll definitely do my best to answer them. Otherwise, Thanks for watching and have a good one.